Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm taking a look at the LA Chargers versus the Washington football team matchup and giving my recap, my biggest takeaways, and just my overall reaction to this game as we see the LA Chargers came away with a close win, 20 to 16. But before we end the topic and closer and into a closer look, I gotta hear from you guys. Does this win and loss by the LA Chargers and by Washington change your overall projections where these two teams end up? I don't need an exact prediction of what their record is going to be but do you think the Chargers can now be a playoff team if you didn't think before and did you think Washington may lose a division when you thought they were going to win it before just I want to hear from you guys does this game influence how you see the rest of their season project to be but like I said getting straight into it as you can see Chargers came away with that W 22 16 over Washington in Washington some things to take away is Justin Herbert picked up right where he left off. You know, he played around that 300 yards a game last year statistic, and there he is today putting up 337 yards, one touchdown, one interception. That one interception, of course, no one likes to see interceptions on stat sheets, but the way I look at it is it could be better, it could be worse. It wasn't an awful interception where you're just like, what kind of accuracy does this guy have? What kind of QB vision does this guy have? It was just a mishap. Small inaccuracy, it happens again. No quarterback is perf perfect. Justin Herbert still played an amazing game, at least according to me, in my opinion. He played very, very well. And he had a number of drops in this game that I think would have helped out his numbers even more. I do think Herbert performed extremely well just where he did last year and with some progression. Taylor Heineke, of course, you may hear a Washington fan or someone argue that they would have won if Fitzpatrick stayed all the way. But to me, Looking at the stats, Heineke did pretty good. 11 for 15, an average of 8 yards a throw. That's more than Herbert. 122 yards, 1 touchdown, 0 interceptions, 119.3 quarterback rating. That's pretty good if you ask me. So I'm not saying, I don't really think Fitzpatrick really would have had a huge difference or impact on this game. And I do think the Chargers were the better team to win it in this one and for a number of reasons. A couple other takeaways is... I feel like there were a couple drives where the Chargers really dominated and could have came with a win, and it resulted in them losing that drive or just having a bad outcome. For example, when second and a half, the Chargers are driving, and they got in the red zone, and Herbert was throwing it to the end zone. The ball got tipped out of his hand when I believe he was in a forward progression, a forward motion, a forward movement. But since Montez Sweat, I, think, I believe it was Montez Sweat or Chase Young, I think it was Sweat, though, tipped the ball. It came out as a fumble. It was ruled a fumble instead of an incomplete pass, and therefore the ball turned over as a touchback, and it turned out to be Washington's ball. Again, I don't agree with that play or that call, but still, ball don't lie. The Chargers still ended up winning. Another one, Joey Bosa got a roughing the passer later in the game as well. That I didn't exactly agree with. There were a couple flags this game that I think could have been could have gone either way, but I do think there were a couple flags that definitely should have gone the Chargers' way. But either way, like I said, ball don't lie. Chargers still came away with that win. Eckler ran the ball pretty well, 57 yards. That's kind of what you expect out of him. Antonio Gibson was a freak this game. Carrying the ball, 20 carries. That's a good amount, 90 yards. That was a takeaway. The Chargers definitely don't have the greatest run defense. Antonio Gibson did run through them. But on the other hand, the Chargers' offensive line, in my opinion at least, you could argue the offensive line held up. You could argue with Staley Systems. You could argue it was Herbert's pocket presence and just confidence and overall talent that kept him together in this game. But either way, the Chargers were able to get the ball out of the pocket. And even though the offensive line wasn't 100% to the nth degree perfect, I still think it held up pretty good, very good, when you consider a top three defensive line, a top three arguable defense in the league. Chase Young, Monta Sweat, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne. Chargers looked good in my opinion this year or just in this season or just in this game excuse me again looking deeper into the stats you can see Keenan Allen had 100 yards Mike Williams had 82 yards he looked really good the same there's a couple drops I was not too happy with but eight targets 82 yards he is having one of his better starts to his career he looked definitely different with his cut hair Jared Cook had an impact Jalen Guyton had an impact KJ Hill had an impact a lot of these guys from top to bottom, from head to toe, all had an impact on this game, and that's what I like to see again. Washington put up a fight. Taylor Heineke was extremely efficient. Ron Rivera was a good coach. Antonio Gibson ran the ball. Jerry McLaurin got some yards. Logan Thomas, Antonio Gibson, there were threats all around. But I do believe the better team came out of this one, 20-16. The Chargers won. And I think we can see the Chargers go on a 2-0 run. They play the Dallas Cowboys next week. And, again, my biggest takeaways are... Justin Herbert is looking like he was last year, and he's only getting better, I believe. Another takeaway is this can show that the Chargers can go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with any team, whether it be 
Obviously, they're going to play some better offenses than Washington, and they're going to play possibly some even better defenses than Washington. But still, this showed on paper, on talent, or excuse me, the on paper talent, they can really match up, up to about just anyone. I mean, if you guys can see right here, as I'm recording this, the Chiefs are down 20 to 10. This will be different by the time it's posted, but still, it shows teams are beatable in the NFL. Don't think anyone's perfect. You know, obviously, like I said, by the time this is over, the Chiefs could be up 35 to 22, but. Just saying, Chargers, their team, that can be anyone. Just because they're not favored doesn't mean they can't sneak by a win. And I do think with everything coming together, Joe Lombardi seemed like he had a pretty efficient offense for my most part. You know, I'm not so scout. I don't know how to break down film to the nth degree. But from the eye test, Chargers look good in my opinion. Austin Eckler looked good. Larry Roundtree in the beginning had a pretty good carry at the very beginning of the game. I like Keenan Allen. He's always Keenan Allen. Mike Williams, like I said, it did pretty good. In Washington, I still think they can win their division. The takeaway from them, of course, is the defense did look relatively strong to an extent. Chase Young, he was somewhat limited against Rashawn Slater. You know, he wasn't putting up five sacks a game like Chandler Jones against the Titans today, but still the pass rush was there. You could definitely see the pocket close in at times. It did get real crowded, but still, for the most part, clearly the Chargers managed through it due to their great, great quarterback play. Justin Herbert looked phenomenal today. Again, the only... I think you can really take away from it is the interception again things happen he got sacked a couple times but still no team is perfect week one I feel like the Chargers performed very very well for the amount of kinks that I was concerned about a how's Herbert going to be in year two b how's Brandon Staley going to be c how's the offensive line going to be d how's the breakout players going to be Jalen Guyton um, Mike Williams Derwin James, you could feel his presence. Sante Samuel Jr., you could feel his presence. You could feel Joey Bosa's. You could feel Linval Joseph. You could feel Kenneth Murray's. Chargers are firing on all cylinders for the most part. Again, they're not perfect. Everyone has some kinks. I do think they need to work out on a couple things. But for the most part, this is a positive takeaway, and this is a positive recap for the L.A. Chargers. In the Washington football team, again, you went against one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He's an up-and-coming top-10 quarterback who is on the rise. Washington, you still held together. You still held your own. And I'm not saying Fitzpatrick would have made your team better if he stayed in, but maybe just having a more consistent game plan and not having that wrench thrown into your plan and not having that wild card play thrown into your plan, Washington might have stuck this one out and won it all. Who knows? But I still think there's some positive takeaways for both teams. Of course, it could be improvements on both sides, but for the most part, like I said, pretty good game for both teams. If there's something I'm missing, a player, a coach, a play, a scheme, anything i just not thinking of or off the top of my head, feel free to comment down below. I'd love commenting to you guys or implying to guys like I said if there's an opinion to take player whatever it is that I just didn't talk about and you think I should have let me know I loved watching this game it was a close game it was a tight game and it really did come down to the final drive as you see but Chargers carried away they got the win and I'm excited how to see how each of these two teams do in week two and just the rest of the season as always and of course guys I truly appreciate it thank you for watching tune in the morning